What's good? It's your boy, Rich Long. And I just came here, you already know, to keep it real. I am on the line today, um, and I just want to flow in the spirit and give y'all some downloads that God has been giving me all morning. But before I go into that, I want to start off by praying for our sister Sharon. Um, we know that we're all living off of God's grace right now, so prayer is a must. Father God, I ask that you come into our sister's situation. We know that she's been dealing with some things with her health, Father. We ask that you bind all spirits of infirmity and iniquity so that she may be healed. Bind all spirits coming against her in the natural realm and the spiritual realm. So that she may be healed. In the mighty name of Jesus. We ask that you send the Holy Ghost fire. To burn up all things that are not fit to be in her vessel. Amen. I ask that we give her a moment of acknowledgement. Because we're all one living body. And um, we need each other. We don't know who she's interceding for. She might be interceding for me. Sister, I'm agreeing with you today that God is going to shift the atmosphere in your life. And that you're going to get justice. And that you're going to get healed right now. <laughs> and it's just that easy. I'm not saying for me. I'm saying for God. <laughs> it's just that easy for God. He's already... Fixing things that we can't see. He's already shifting things that we don't know about. He's already creating situations in the spirit realm so that you can reach the destination that he's already assigned and appointed to you. Today, God was telling me that when he sends help, he say leave. <laughs> when, when he sends you your help, leave. He's getting ready to shut some spiritual gates and physical gates. When we were on our assignment to rebuke Hollywood, and we did that, we did that, we noticed that um, there was no justice there. You know, we've traveled all over the United States, and we haven't met justice yet. So, what is it that God is calling for us to do? Pray, intercede for one another, seek his face, because... There's things going on that are bigger than us. We've lived and died by this as a people for so long. This word that we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be um, surprised that there's going to be more crucifying of God's people. There's going to be more mocking of God's people. There's going to be more naysayers who come up against God's prophets. There's going to be more legions of demons that are attacking our families. There's going to be more affliction. Our greatest mantle and weapon is our prayer. Some people believe in meditation. All right. Some people believe that they're, they're manifesting. Okay. You know, that, that's on you. <laughs> that's on you. Whatever, whatever you say, man. <laughs> whatever you say. But look, for me... <laughs> I know that there is power in prayer. I've had people come into my life who were people of God and shifted things just like that by speaking a word over me. And we might not still be connected, but I count it all joy. Some of them I'm still connected to, but some of them God caused separation because we, we may have started interfering with his plan. God already has everything in his kingdom assigned to us. We have a house assigned to us. We have a car assigned to us. He has a mate assigned to us. We have children assigned to us. We have a call over our life. There's a divine business that, that, that has my name written on it. There's a blessing somewhere out there in the atmosphere with my name on it. There's, there's a healing in, in the spirit realm with my name on it. And God just needs for me to get up under the oil. You too, look. 
when I minister to myself, I'm ministering to you. I can't minister my whole life in, in every act. But just know, God, he's working through me and on me. I'm going through my process. I'm not where I was in 2021. A lot of things had to fall off. A lot of people had to fall off. There had to be some delay. There had to be some denial. I, I had to be afflicted. And it was good that I was afflicted. I had to... I had to go back to my starting point. I had to go back where I first heard God. Because I was like Jonah. <laughs> when, when God started revealing his self, his word, his plan for me, I really didn't understand. <laughs> I didn't, because, you know, you got to have eyes to see. I, I could see what was happening in front of me, but because I still was in agreement with some ways of the world, I was conflicted and afflicted, mentally tormented, because a peace of mind is a gift from God. <laughs> um, having a sound mind is, is from heaven. This, this is for God's people. You know, you don't know if some people are even sleeping at night. Their body might shut down, but they might not get rest. But children of God should always be getting rest unless there's some type of medical issue. And, and God can fix that. You know, he's a doctor. He's a lawyer. <laughs> you know, he, he will get justice for us, even, even if we aren't here to see it. You know, God told me a while ago that I was going to be fighting for justice. It started off, well, it, it started with my own self. I've been seeking justice for a long time. And it was because I was afflicted. I didn't understand that it was a part of the process. And I, I, I got justice. I'm still getting it. You know, I'm, I'm still living off of the prayers of my grandmother and my grandfather. Um, God has blessed me in the presence of my enemies. In the presence of those who would afflict me. I've been pressed <laughs> and mashed down. And it produced an oil. <laughs> And, and God, he has not forsaken me or left me. At times he got quiet so that he could see what I would do. Okay, I, I've given him a little leg room and wiggle room to, to make his own decisions. Let me see which way my child will go. And because God has been so good, I never, I, I, I can't get out of his presence. Even if I'm upset, I, I still got to run back to him. He, he's he's like, uh, 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 I, I'm, I'm something like, his child, but um, I'm married to God. He, he's something like um, a soulmate. He's something like a, a, a love interest that I must, I must seek after, you know. And sometimes people will, they will get in the way of that and cause you to, to be unfaithful to God. You know what I'm saying? Because he comes first. He comes first. No matter. What's the scenario? God comes before your marriage. He comes before your child. He comes before your situation. He comes before the bills. You know what I'm saying? The, the rent might be due. <laughs> Boo hoo hoo. God comes first. Okay? Um, and to live like this, it takes a lot of faith. Because um, a lot of times he's going to show up just on time. In the final hour. In the 11th hour. In the 4th inning. You know what I'm saying? You might not even see anything moving or shifting and working. But the whole time, God had a plan, and he had his hand on you. And he, he knew where you would be in the end. You were, you were in his arms. A lot of times, you, you weren't even marching forward because God, you were exhausted. You, you, you didn't even know which way to go. You had given up on yourself, and God carried you. Me, I've been there. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't have the luxury of giving up, no matter what the situation is, because all I got is my God and me. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I got kids in this world. So I have to make sure I stay alive <laughs> so that if I do nothing else, I can witness to them who God has been to me and for me. And this they can inherit. <laughs> the, the kingdom of heaven, which is, is greater than anything on earth. So look, <laughs> boom. God, back, back to... The message God was revealing to me 
that he's getting ready to close off the gates. He's been telling us since October we were in the hour of decision. He's closing off the gates. Listen, something is about to go down. There's going to be something that's about to take place in this earth realm, something big. And it's going to cause the whole world to change. And it should not be far-fetched for us to notice because we've been seeing nothing but signs and wonders. We've been seeing nothing but the revelation of the revelation times. We've been seeing the truth be revealed on multiplicitous levels from, from Hollywood to science. Science having to bear witness that they, they know there's a creator. Now we're seeing this submersible trying to uh, go see the Titanic, allegedly, allegedly. And now they done got, uh, I don't know, they're gone. And look, it's their own doing if it's real. We don't know. This this enemy is always trying to war on us. And it's, it's a mental it's, it's, it's a mental game a lot of times to get us to focus on what his end game is. Because the enemy doesn't have prophecy or prophets. The only thing, he, he's a villain. He just tells us what he's going to do to us. He, he just say what he's going to do to us and, and, and try to do it. And, and we fight night and day. Oh, the watchmen are on their post. The reapers are on their post. But you know what? God is getting ready to come back. <laughs> and... They're going to tell us it's an alien attack. Look, this is bigger than me. We've been living on the backs of giants. A lot of these mountains and trees, when I travel, you wouldn't, I, I, I can't make you see what my eyes saw, but some of these things are, are beings, living beings. This earth is alive. This, we're, we're, we're living on the backs of giants. <laughs> Listen, when... When the new year came, we specifically dealt with the principalities of the air. God had been sending people in to minister to us about this. And this is Satan's realm. And when we deal with air, we're dealing with thought. We're dealing with speech. We're dealing with uh, uh, the airwaves, the music industry, the, the, the TV industry, you know, Hollywood, things like that. They're... Getting ready, y'all ain't gonna believe this, to poison our air. They're getting ready to poison our air. I'm finna flow in the spirit. They're getting ready to destroy the earth because they know that the mothership is already in the sky. It's a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. The the star of the Shekinah already been revealed. That blue star and that red star are already in the sky. My God. The 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 battle has already begun in the sky. You know, they're already fighting in heaven. They've been sending all type of spacecraft to try to crack the dome. They're trying to escape and get up out of here. Okay? Because they're not going to be as able to escape the judgment. But listen, this is how you know they're crazy. The devil is a liar. There's no escape. You know what I'm saying? How, how can you escape God? How can you escape God? And they know this. That's why they plan on destroying the world and corrupting God's children. The only thing that's left is to make sure we can't inherit the earth and the kingdom of heaven, which heaven will be on earth. Look, I was about to cuss. Thank God for, for Jesus and that he's transforming me. And it's not about, oh, oh, there's no curse words and all that. No, it's about having some class and being an ambassador to the kingdom of God. You don't even know. God's been dealing with me. Stop showing the people this, my son. They're, they're looking to you. Yeah, a lot of people are hating right now, but you're shifting the atmosphere. You're changing their life. A lot of people, they, they can't give it up to you because they envy you, son. They don't know how you're still going. They don't know how I can send you across the world with no money. They don't know how wherever you go, I've already supplied you a storehouse. If I told y'all some of this stuff, y'all would think me a braggart or, or, or just like I'm being funny. God 
is good to me. I really never need nothing. Um, because I got everything. I don't even like to wear jewelry no more. I don't like to 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 do anything other than just be who I am in God. I don't want to draw the wrong type of attention. I don't I don't want to be of the world. There we go. I'm better than the world, okay? I deserve better. You know what I'm saying? So, me, I look at this thing like this. There's only a few soldiers that are willing to go to war for God. We, we would think, oh, the church, no, no. He's coming back to destroy the church as we know it so that it can be rebuilt. He's going to use us to destroy the church as we know it so that it can be rebuilt. We shouldn't go against God's ecclesiastic. But listen, we are the church. Those people in those buildings are devils. I'm not saying everybody that go to church is a devil. You know, it's, it's a, a double edge sword because we will assemble as the church but what I'm saying is the church as we know it is a mess and a mockery and they've turned God's temple into a, a marketplace of their own desires you know I saw a couple of weeks ago at a gospel concert they were selling alcohol and you know when you're in the world that don't mean nothing <laughs> you know what I'm saying but uh oh well get God turned water to wine. But listen, when we're dealing with God and his word and we are worshiping, we're not getting drunk and, 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 and dealing with alcohol. It's the spirit behind the thing. It's not, oh, just what we see. It ain't what you do. It's how you do it. Boom. I'm all over the place. But look, getting back to the subject at hand, God's getting, I'm going to say it again. God's getting ready to seal the gates. He's already sealed his people. You know, we, we deal with this scripture. We dealt with this scripture um, for the last five to six months. Don't touch the oil or the wine. <laughs> Don't touch the oil or the wine. That's us, remember? We're the oil and the wine, God's people. He's already marked us. The devil's marked his people too. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's a crying shame. That as good as God has been to some of y'all, I, I just seen Boosie get out. I don't know if that's God or the enemy. Because God has been telling me he's going to deal with him. But as good as God has been to some of y'all, y'all are still not, y'all don't get it. Just because you go around saying my name don't mean I know you. You don't have relationships. Um, and I'm, I'm not, hey, if, if, if you're convicted, you're convicted. I'm, I'm not sending this out. No shots at nobody. Because uh, I'm not perfect. But listen, we're striving for perfection. We're striving to be more like God. Some of y'all are claiming to be gods. And uh, y'all aren't. Nature boy. Y'all are just pieces of shit to keep it real. Y'all are terrible people. Everything you produce is bad. You don't know good. Like, literally, every, every concept you come up with out of your spirit and mind because you're a demon. And demon possessed by legion. Everything's bad. You don't produce nothing good. You don't help nobody. And those who you do help, you corrupt. Because you're a devil and a devil maker. And time's up. For those who are watching on your post, I'm going to pray for you right now. Father God, we ask that you protect your prophets in this hour and this time we know that they're getting ready to kill us and we just ask that you avenge all of us that need your vengeance father we ask that you protect us so that we may keep our life for as long as we can hold on to it and we pray for old age but if we must shed blood we ask that our enemies are judged righteously and rightfully so and that they may fall as we fall. And that they may be slain as ours are slain. And that we may rise up 
and be at the right hand of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. It's your boy Rich Long signing out again. I'm going to ask for y'all to pray for my sister, Sister Sharon. And send her healing over this uh, broadcast. And we know that we can do it because God is going to touch everyone who's under the sound of my voice. In some way today, God is going to shift the atmosphere for everyone under the sound of my voice. Today, God is going to bless everyone who's under the sound of my voice today. Because we have authority to speak these things into existence. It's real.